process uh, of uh, exercise, exercise, and, and freedom, freedom. Um, Larry Ahoon and I, James Wiley, sitting here uh, near near the Safeway Market. Um, next to uh, Starbucks coffee over here at the Safeway uh, Cyprus there's a lot of towns with streets the name of Cyprus uh, I think it's safe to say the name of the street is Cyprus as much, I guess, as anyone can make. What town would that be? <laughs> Cyprus. There was a, a process which occurred, which was um, like a very free kind of psychological, psychological process. I saw my own, I say, babiness and a manifestation of my own neurosis in connection with uh, immaturity, something still to unbury and set free. Uh, in meeting with someone here at the coffee shop. I, I won't say what her name what her name is. Uh, because this is something that is like a sort of prayer, prayer and healing process for many like her and many like me. There was uh, a real sense of communication and blending. I met with this very, very attractive, very pretty girl who came to our table and asked us, what, what are you reading? And books, psychology, fourth way, Gurdjieff, and so on. We didn't, we didn't go into that kind of detail with her. It was more like a process of making conversation. Larry and myself and her a and these things happen unplanned this was unplanned it turned to a process of Samson and Delilah without it going beyond a certain point only brushing with the the idea of, of Samson and Delilah and I said to her, are you familiar with the story of Samson and Delilah? And you have to look it up. It's a well-known story, Samson and Delilah. And the way I put it to her was, it's a story about uh, a woman. It's one way to put it among many other ways, I suppose story about a woman entrapping a man and the man Samson of course all the time wishes to maintain wishes to keep his manliness does not want to lose his manliness he's a frog sort of frog turning into a prince and the process for me was that there was no touching or sex offensiveness. It was all open like that. I said it all that way to her. Uh, process of transmission, feeling of, of blending, like mutual teaching. All of life is our teacher. That Samson is a man attracted to the woman at the same time he wishes to keep his sense of himself as a man his manliness, not lose himself. 
sort of uh, a momentary losing of yourself to find yourself. There was a feeling of that, a loss of sense of self, and then transmitting that to her as a process, instead of to her like that, like a psychological process. I'm Samson, Samson meeting with you, you are Delilah. And this sense of myself wishing to keep my manliness, which is to say, purging of something that I am not. And even Larry said it. Larry said it. What did you say about her? That she she's a baby. Well, that's me also. The baby and her blended with the baby and me. And I went into being 53 years of age. She looks more, no more than 20, 18 to 20. Taking that sense of responsibility upon myself, being sort of role-playing the teacher, and all open like that, not coming out to her, and saying it in that way, that I am, like Samson, attracted to you, and yet at the same time, I wish to keep my manliness. All open like that. That was the, the moment of maturity for me. That was the moment of freedom, process of freedom for me was to sacrifice not only um, my attraction to her, which was uh, immature and the stuff of babies, and there was even the smell of baby. Like if I had got you know, involvement with this very sweet, beautiful girl, may mean having a baby, and there was a smell of baby in the air for a few moments there. So it was like giving that up, giving that up by being so open about it. I saw a look of shock in her, but she wasn't that kind of shock that would happen if, you know, let's say I was sex offensive and started feeling her up and, you know, all of that kind of nonsense. It was the reverse of that. It's like it's purging another layer of the sex offender in me without being a sex offender and becoming more human more responsible, responsible to my age, tr perhaps transmitting something to this young girl which she will remember because she was very awake to, to the process. And I will never see her again, probably never see her again. And in my moment of maturity now I am saying and seeing to myself, that's where it ends. It was a process of like psychological healing for her and for me. It's beyond her to understand it and put it and formulate it in such a way as I am doing. So that's me taking responsibility in that little dance and drama with this young girl without any involvement. No sex offensiveness. It's, it was the reversal of something, as I have already said, something babyish and immature in me and it looked like a healing for her too. And perhaps it is, it is opening a door for her dream to come true with some other guy more her age, not me. It was like setting her free and setting myself free. It was a psychological process like that. How would you describe that? You, Larry Ahun. Well, I didn't even realize all that was going on between you two. So you fell asleep. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, you fell asleep and then. Well, so I, I went into all the dirty details there. Uh, well, the that was when you left the table and you went over there to talk to her. Yeah, it was quite, quite a wonderful process of exchange and lifting of uh, immaturity. And feeling a, it as a healing, and feeling better for it, feeling a, a freedom, freedom, Ex, exquisite feeling of liberation, 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 freedom, <laughs> freedom. Okay. Yeah. <laughs>